If you didn't know they were there, you wouldn't know what it was now. It just looks like a small hill. I think nowadays that people don't even think about all the nuclear weapons we have. They think that's all in the past and that they're not there anymore. And the reality is they're all over the place. If nothing goes wrong for seven or eight years, people don't think about it, don't realize it, unless you're working in that industry, people forget. Nuclear accidents continue to the present day, although there have not been nearly as many occasions of things being dropped or blown out of silos. In part, that's because there are fewer of them. Uh, on the other hand, the uh, degree of oversight and attention has, if anything, gotten worse uh, because people don't worry about nuclear war as much. Since the beginning of the atomic age, the United States has built about 70,000 nuclear weapons. None of them have ever detonated by accident. That's due to the skills of our weapons designers, whose safety recommendations were finally adopted, and the bravery of our military personnel. But it's also due to luck, pure luck. And the problem with luck is eventually it runs out. Nuclear weapons are machines. And every machine ever invented eventually goes wrong. It doesn't matter how much you plan. It doesn't matter how many checklists you have. Somebody's got a ringer somewhere they're going to throw out there at you. Nuclear weapons will always have a chance of an accidental detonation. It will happen. It may be tomorrow, or it may be a million years from now, but it will happen. <laughs>